fine i am fine too i really thank god welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe can you click on that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every time i put a new video on this channel so dear friends have you ever been in a relationship with a guy and then when that relationship ends you are like oh my god i wish i knew this guy was just a player i wish i knew this guy was just wasting my time because if i knew i wouldn't have wasted my time so in at this video i'm going to be sharing with you how to make a player on online dating apps run away from you <laughs> not only on online dating apps even in real life these things that i'm going to be sharing with you will help you on online dating apps and even in real life to chase away men who are players men who would have wasted your time before you even start that relationship how good is that <laughs> it's so so good guys doing that will protect you doing that will filter men who are not serious men who are players and you will give your attention to men who are serious so guys these points or these things that i'm going to be sharing with you they are actually the red flags and they are the things that you should not accept when you are chatting to a man on online dating apps let it be a white man let it be a black man any man of any color never accept this even in real life when you come across a guy and he seems interested in you and then you see these things <laughs> these red flags don't accept them you not accepting these things or these red flags will make a man who is not serious run away from you he will run away from you and do you know why he's going to run away from you it's because he won't handle you you are going to be too much for him <laughs> too much for him to play games on you <laughs> yes my dear beautiful ladies so as this video is very very interesting especially for you ladies who are on online dating apps oh my god you should watch this video very very attentively because at the end of this video you are going to learn a lot of things and no man i repeat no man is going to play games on you anymore if if you guys don't accept these things that i'm going to be sharing with you these red flags <laughs> yes so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right now Number one thing that you should never accept when you are chatting to a white man or any man of any color on online dating apps or even in real life is that you are chatting to a guy and then the communication between you is complicated. And I'm going to explain to you how that communication can be complicated so that you get to understand. So you find that when you call this guy he never picks but he prefers to be the one to call you <laughs> you should ask yourself why is that so <laughs> maybe guys you call at the wrong time maybe when the wife is there he doesn't want the wife to find out that he is talking to someone else or maybe the things that he has been telling you those beautiful romantic stories about his house about his life is just a lie that is why he doesn't pick your video call when you call him but he prefers when he has arranged everything to how he wants it to call you and continue telling you the lies yes a man who is real a man who is serious will pick your call any time of the day if he is busy he's going to tell you i was busy but it will happen only once or twice but not all the time when you call on the video call he doesn't pick <laughs> that communication is complicated already and something might be wrong somewhere number two how communication can be complicated is if this man calls you 
when he is in the bathroom <laughs> and this has been happening to a lot of ladies especially those who i have been helping they have been telling me stories of talking to a guy and the guy is in the bathroom showing half naked <laughs> yeah guys a serious man a serious serious man that even respects you that respects boundaries <laughs> won't call you when he is in the bathroom to show you that he is half naked in the shower never never guys i repeat never he will shower and when he is done then he's going to talk to you but a guy who calls you he's like hi honey how are you doing i am in the bathroom and then it ends there <laughs> he doesn't call you again on a video call you know that the guy is hiding something and that communication put it in a complicated category it's complicated never accept that when he calls you he is in the bathroom tell him that i want to talk to you after you had finished shower if he calls you back on a video call then he's not hiding anything but if he doesn't call you back <laughs> on a video call you know that the guy is just playing games on you don't accept it and you not accepting that the guy is going to run away from you number three that will tell you that your communication with this man that you have met on online dating apps or even in real life is complicated is if this man doesn't want to talk to you at night no video calls at night no calls at night no messages at night it's complicated already don't accept to be in a such kind of a relationship never accept that i have told you and i'm going to repeat it again if a guy really loves you he will be free to communicate with you any time of the day yes if he's busy at work of course we understand that but he will be able to get back to you once he is less busy and he will talk to you at night when he is at home and at night guys it is a very good moment for lovers to talk for someone that you care because sometimes if you are single you will understand me you find yourself feeling a bit lonely so even for a man <laughs> they feel the same don't take his excuses of not wanting to talk to you during the night keep calling him at night keep sending him messages at night the guy is going to run away from you he will run because he won't be able to handle you anymore but if he is real he is going to take your calls but if he is not real he's gonna run away yes <laughs> so if you see a guy not wanting night calls not wanting night communication you know that the guy is not real the guy is just playing games on you the guy is not free yes number four which will tell you your communication with this guy is complicated and you shouldn't accept it so you start chatting with a guy on online dating apps and when it comes to that stage of exchanging phone numbers then the guy starts telling you that he does not use whatsapp so you should download i don't know viber you should download skype because he does not use whatsapp dear beautiful ladies please hear me out these men are just taking advantage of you they are just wasting your time never accept because in this world that we are living everyone uses whatsapp majority of people uses whatsapp and not only that not only of talking that everyone uses whatsapp a guy should also consider the easiest way of this girl communicating with you we all know in africa how communication is very poor like the network is very very poor so a guy forcing you to download viber a guy forcing you to download uh, skype it means that first of all the guy doesn't care and second he's very very selfish because what matters is what makes him comfortable to communicate with you but not what makes you comfortable or how easy it is 
for you to communicate with this guy <laughs> so if he tells you i cannot give you my phone numbers if he tells you that i cannot communicate with you on whatsapp because i don't use whatsapp so you have to download some other app so that you can communicate with me don't accept just tell the guy that i use whatsapp and if you have another means of communication that is very easy for you tell the guy that i also use this that's it if the guy is really interested in you if he really want to know you very well and maybe create something concrete <laughs> a strong relationship with you then he is going to do all he can so that he can communicate with you because these guys will come and tell you i don't use whatsapp download skype download viber but do you know those apps they are so easy for him because he'll be able to hide your chats to hide everything that you have been you know talking about from his wife because a guy who tells you that i don't use whatsapp because the guy who chooses how you guys are going to communicate he has got something to hide from you so if you accept do you know what is going to happen the guy is going to keep on talking to you the guy is going to keep on playing games on you and once he is done do you know what that guy is going to do the guy is going to uninstall that app that you used to communicate to and it will end there but if he gives you his whatsapp number or his phone numbers it means that if he keeps quiet on you you are going to be writing messages you are going to be calling him so to avoid all that <laughs> and when he leaves you he remains in peace he is going to choose the comfortable way for him to communicate with you what i'm telling you here guys if you are chatting to a guy on online dating apps and then he comes up with the idea of using some certain app to communicate not the normal way that we know like whatsapp or he doesn't want to give you his phone numbers then you know that the guy is playing games on you do not accept that don't accept to be used guys don't and most of the times guys before i forget if you were the one like forcing him to use a certain kind of app he could have called you names he could have even said that you are a scammer yes they do that <laughs> let's take some water spring has started and right now it's a bit hot <laughs> it has started to be hot but we love it we love it <laughs> We love hot weather my fellow black women in the diaspora they can understand me <laughs> we love summer we love spring hot weather so we are at point number two of the things you shouldn't accept and if you don't accept these things then a man who is a player a man who just wanna waste your time <laughs> he will run away from you on online dating apps or even in real life guys i know if you're chatting to a white man or any man of any color on online dating apps if he talks of sex sex talks normal sex talks it's just okay because you are not brothers and sister no <laughs> you intend to be in a love relationship it's okay those some um, curious you know questions about sex it's just okay a guy will disrespect you if he tells you to stay naked and do online sex then that is the disrespect and it is wrong but if a guy talks of sex don't start be like you are disrespecting me stop talking about that you are fake <laughs> no it's normal it's normal guy because you guys at some point you will have to enjoy the goodies <laughs> yes one day <laughs> when all boxes are tick 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 yeah you will have to enjoy the goodies so it's okay for him to talk about it but but not all the time because there are some men you meet them on online dating apps you start chatting and every time they chat with you it is sex talks nothing more he doesn't talk of the future he doesn't tell you why he is even 
interested in you nothing guys nothing he doesn't want even to know you <laughs> your culture traditions those questions that are so so important when you want to know someone when you want to make something serious with someone no he does not talk of that he only talks of sex all the time every day when you see that no matter how you want a white man no matter how you want that man don't accept it because everything has got its limits <laughs> sex is so important in a relationship but it's not everything in a relationship yes guys it's very important but not everything <laughs> and when you guys are just getting to know each other there are so many things that you guys need to talk about not only sex talks don't accept that and if that guy is a player if he is not real he is going to run away from you because you can't give him what he wants the only thing that he wants from you <laughs> number two guys on the same sex talks so you are chatting to a guy on online dating apps and everything seems to be good <laughs> even in your mind you tell yourself that he is the one and as you are chatting planning of his trip he tells you that he wants to sleep with you in the same hotel so dear beautiful ladies i told you if you are not sure yet of the guy if you're not convinced yet that the guy is real if you have not seen the second side of this guy's life don't give the goodies so in this case tell the guy just when you are still chatting before he travels to come that you know what when you come here don't expect goodies from me i need to get to know you very well and be clear of your real intention tell him be open with him you doing that if this guy was only coming to meet you just to use you then he is going to disappear from you he will start chatting with another lady from the same country <laughs> that you're coming from <laughs> who will accept to be used <laughs> yes by this tourist but if the guy is real he is going to come he will try his best to make sure that all your doubts are cleared and if you decide to give the goodies you will give but he won't stop coming to see you just because you told him you won't be able to give him the goodies yes <laughs> Number three of the things that you should never accept if you're on online dating apps or even in real life and if you don't accept these things, then a man who is a player will run away from you. If you're chatting with a guy, everything goes very, very well, seems to be good. <laughs> you connect, you vibe and comes the plans of meeting. Then in the process of planning on how to meet and then starts a fight, or a misunderstanding of who is gonna pay for this who is gonna pay for that when you see that dear ladies that's a red flag that means that man doesn't want to spend a coin on you yes and for me why should you stay with a man who feels the pain <laughs> if he spends his money on you why should you do that <laughs> there is no need so this is the early early sign that this man feels pain of spending his money on you that is why he is looking for the ways of reducing his pain <laughs> that means you paying <laughs> yes i know you want to look independent to this man but dear beautiful ladies for me again it's me <laughs> i know you'll be like bella you are talking like that because you are married already no even if i was still single i wouldn't have accepted to be treated this way i wouldn't have accepted this situation of a man telling me pay for this pay for that 
on our first meeting it's a red flag guys and who knows this man is looking for a lady to split the bills with but not love yes they exist so you gotta be very very careful when it comes to this first impression matters so much so this guy is supposed if he is coming to africa let's say you are an african lady and he wants to come and see you in africa he is supposed to pay for his trip his food the hotel everything not telling you you are going to pay for this you're going to pay for that but again guys you will do your share without even him telling you because as a lady who understands yourself as an independent lady as a lady who wants to show a guy that you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be a burden to you <laughs> yes you can buy him dinner you know one of the nights or one of the days he'll be there or you can buy him lunch or sometimes you can offer to pay for uber you know transport to go somewhere to visit maybe some tourist attractions you will do your share without this man telling you but if the misunderstandings rises before you even meet the guy is telling you you are going to pay for this and i'm going to pay for that that's a red flag guys ali red flag and that relationship i tell you because the way you start your relationship it is how it is going to be even if you guys get married so if you get married and you want to change things it won't be possible because you made a mistake when you started the relationship a man should show his full efforts to get to know you to meet you he should be a man guys and what i want to tell you guys everything is in your hands you are the one to decide how a man should treat you because if you accept these kind of things a man tells you you are going to pay for this and then you say okay i will pay so that the guy can see you are independent it might be a test he wants to see how much you can give that can be another thing or he wants someone to split the bills with not love or this guy is those guys that feels pain when they spend their money on a lady it might be one of those cases and it's not good at all i am not advising any lady to accept to be treated that way but again guys if you want to be treated that way that's you but my advice this is a red flag that your relationship won't be good in the future if this man starts the fight of who is going to pay yes so don't accept it and if this man is just a player or was just you know wanted to pass time with you he is going to disappear after you telling him to pay <laughs> he's going to run away <laughs> i'm so sure <laughs> and this applies when a man invites you you are in africa or you are in the philippines a guy invites you in his country he is supposed to pay for the ticket he is supposed to pay for majority of the things the small small things guys like your transport maybe to go to the embassy that's when you can pay it yourself because i know you can <laughs> but he should pay for the ticket he should pay for your insurances this shows how ready he is and these white men guys especially white men they are so clever they know everything about africa they know the real life in africa but they pretend because they just want to play games so be careful dear ladies number four of the things you should never accept if you are on online dating apps or even in real life and if you don't accept these things a man who is a player a man who is a time waster will run away from you is if this man ignores you most of the time and you are the only one to run after him all the time you are the only one to force things you are the only one who always call him you are the only one who texts him you are the only one to tell him i love you <laughs> <laughs> but for him he's too busy he doesn't have free time he ignores you most of the times 
dear beautiful ladies don't accept to be treated this way for god's sake please no matter how much you want a man in your life it's not healthy because how long are you going to do that let's be honest guys if a man truly truly loves you he's going to look for you he's going to call you he want to listen to your voice he will never ignore you that's the truth yes so don't accept to be used don't accept to be in a relationship that you are not happy about never accept dear beautiful ladies if a guy ignores you ignore him too and let's see where it will lead him yes we sit and see where it will end because you can't be just the one to run after him not at all no 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 i'm not advising you to do that and if this guy is a player if this guy is a time waster when he ignores you and you ignore him too he's gonna disappear yes and most ladies are very scared of that they're like if i don't talk to him he is going to disappear let him go let him disappear because him disappearing it's not that you are losing something no he is saving you time he is bringing you close to meet the right person a man who you will be able to count on number five of the things you should never accept when you're on online dating apps or even in real life let's take you're chatting to a guy and when you ask him some questions he's like it's private he's like you are asking too much questions i don't want a woman to control me i don't want a woman who asks a lot of questions if you see that please dear beautiful ladies that's a red flag a guy might be hiding something from you because a guy who is really interested in you a guy who is clean clean guys because we need clean guys we should date men who are clean not perfect men don't get me wrong but clean guys a guy who is clean will never tell you it's private will never tell you you're asking a lot of questions i don't want a woman to control me there is nothing like controlling with asking him important questions and when you are getting to know each other questions are so important so that you can understand the guy you are about to date or you are dating <laughs> so he should be open to you he should be clean 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 <laughs> and be honest with you yes also another thing you should never accept is dating a guy for so long without knowing where your relationship is heading where it stands because you will waste a lot of time and in the end find out that the guy was just you know passing time a guy just wanted someone to talk to online a guy just wanted friendship <laughs> <laughs> so it's good after i told you maximum three months get to know a clear picture of where your relationship is heading of where your relationship stands it's very very important and when you start asking him those questions when you start asking him about your relationship the guy will find you too much to handle and he's gonna run away from you but if he is real then he's gonna be clear with you of where your relationship stands he won't run he will stay a six and this is the last one guys never allow yourself to be in a relationship with a guy whether you meet him on online dating apps or even in real life a guy that has got a very complicated relationship in the past and he has not healed yet he still have a lot of wounds and you will see that the way he talks about his ex <laughs> calling him the bitch all the time provoking the lady so that they can fight every time you talk he brings that ex-wife in your talks this shows that the guy is not healed yet and being in a relationship with you might be one of his tactics to revenge to the ex-wife yes so he might be using you without you knowing so what i'm advising you here guys when you see that don't even wait for him to run <laughs> no 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 run yourself because there is no way you can even fix that unless this man cools down heals 
and gets back to the dating site as a healthy person because you chatting to a guy who is still hurt a guy who is still bitter in the heart that relationship won't be healthy because he is using you as a ladder <laughs> to get to the ex-wife why should you be used i've told you guys if a man is divorced yes we all go through a lot in the past relationships we all make mistakes so that is why you'll find people have their exes the relationship did not work marriage did not work we cannot judge them for the relationship not to work but they should start the relationship or they should go to those dating sites when they are healed the wounds are healed so that they can start a fresh healthy relationship yes my dear beautiful ladies so guys i know this video has been very very long but again i still had a lot more of the things to tell you to avoid when you're on online dating apps to not accept but i think i'll share them next time because the video is long already thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate your time your support your love god bless you if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video comment below what you think about this video please don't forget to watch my other videos too they are very very good until next time subscribe please if you haven't i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart Bye.